In times like these, you need a Savior. In times like these, you need an anchor. Be very sure. Be very sure. Your the solid rock. This rock is Jesus. Yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. Be very sure. Be very solid rock in times like these you need a savior in times like these you need an anchor be very sure be very sure your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus, yes, he is the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. Be very sure your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus, yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. Be very sure, be very sure. Your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, I'm coming to you in the series In Times Like This. In times like this, you need a savior. In times like this, you need to have an anchor. And this anchor must grip and hold on the solid rock Christ Jesus. So at this hour, I'm speaking to you in this series, in this message, Jesus and the invalid and the invalid. Jesus and the invalid. Let us pray. Father and dear Jesus, thank you so much for the opportunity you have given me to reach out with your message to people around the world through Hope Channel. I pray that you will be with me and grant me strength and let the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable to your sight, O oh Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Let all the people say, Amen and Amen. Jesus and the invalid. Jesus and the invalid. A, a very dramatic uh, message is going to unfold on a man who had been sick, invalid, for 38 years. One, the need of the great physician. As you listen to me, if you are sick, listen carefully. You need Dr. Jesus 
the great physician in your life. When all others have failed, Jesus can make a difference. And if you believe in him, Jesus will take care of your need and meet you at the point of your need and take care of your situation. In the book of John, chapter 5, verse 1 to 5. John, chapter 5, verse 1 to 5. Afterward, Jesus returned to Jerusalem for one of the Jewish holidays. Inside the city, near the sheep gate, was a pool of Bethesda with five covered porches. Crowds of sick people, blind, lame, or paralyzed, lay on the porches. One of the men lying there had been sick for 38 years. 38 years. So then, at the sheep gate was a pool of Bethesda. My wife and I were there a few years ago, you went to tour the Holy Land and you went to see this pool of Bethesda. And it is covered by five porches. So crowds of people, sick, blind, lame, paralyzed, were brought before this pool for healing. Number two, Jesus made whole this man, the great physician. <laughs> I tell you, Jesus is the great physician. With him, there is no healer. Jesus has the last word of your life. Jesus has the, has the final say of your life. Let all the doctors declare you hopelessly hopeless that your case, they cannot deal with it because you are dying. But Jesus, even Lazarus, four days dead, buried, and rotten, Jesus brought him back to life. So Jesus can make a big difference in your life. John chapter 5 verse 6 to 9. John chapter 5 verse 6 to 9. When Jesus saw him and knew he had been ill for a long time, he asked him, will you like to get well? I can't, sir, the sick man said, for I have no one to put me into the pool when the water bubbles up. Someone else always gets there ahead of me. Jesus told him, stand up, pick up your mat, and walk. Instantly, the man was healed. He rolled up his sleeping mat and began, and began walking. But this miracle happened on the Sabbath. Oh, I like the song when they, they, they have been singing so well these days. Martina, Bessie, Bessie, Supano. If you do a song, oh, she Minya, Yarisa, Minya, Yarisa, Martina, Martina. If you do a song, oh, she Minya, Yarisa. The man has been there for 38 years. Can you imagine? 30 years by this pool. 38 years. And no one can help him roll into the pool when the angels come and stir up the waters. 38 years. But Jesus made a difference. And I want you to think about that. 
the presence of Jesus made a big difference. When Jesus was there, the man didn't need to go into the water anymore. Oh, yes. Jesus simply told him, get up, stand up, pick up your mat, and walk. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Jesus can make a difference in your life. Maybe you have been sick. You can't get healing. You have spent all your life saving on this sickness. You have seen doctors upon doctors, herbalists upon herbalists, spiritualists upon spiritualists, and yet you remain the same. The value remains the same. You are not being healed. But I want to tell you, you have tried the rest. You have tried the rest. But you have never tried the best. And the best is Jesus Christ, my Lord. He can make a difference. Jesus can show you the distance and the difference. The man responded. Got up. Instantly, the man was healed. He rolled up his sleeping mat and began walking. Hallelujah. Oh, there's a man. He set me free. Jesus can set you free. Jesus can break the chains that seem to bind, bind you. The cycle of problems, the cycle of pain, the cycle of defeat, the cycle of failure, Jesus can break the chain. Yes, oh, he set me free. There is a man, he set me free. Jesus is the one who set me free. Number two, made who by the great physician. Jesus told him in John chapter 5, verse 8, stand up, pick up your mat and walk. Today, at the name of Jesus, if you believe in Jesus, he will tell you, stand up and walk. And you see the difference. It's by faith. It is by faith. The man's faith healed him. The man's faith in Jesus healed him. That's why the song, this song was sung many, many years ago, probably in the 1960s or 1970s. And it, be, and it started like, Mi jidiya jibinkwa, mi jidiya jibinkwa. Yes. Your faith in Jesus can save you. Your faith in Jesus can make you whole. Your faith in Jesus can bring victory to you. Number three, confessing the great physician. The great physician now is here. The great physician is not here. Jesus is the great physician. John chapter 5, verse 10. John 25 verse 10 says, the Jewish leaders, leaders objected. They said to the man who was cured, you can't work on the Sabbath. The Lord doesn't allow you to carry that sleepy mat. So to them, they were not even happy that this man has suffered for 38 years and now he's healed, carrying his mat home and they are now accusing him. That carrying his mat is against the law. John chapter 5, verse 11 to 13. John chapter 5, verse 11 to 13 says, The man who 
healed me, told me, pick up your mat and walk. Who said such a thing as that? They demanded. The man didn't know. Well, Jesus had disappeared into the crowd. So the man didn't even know that the one who was healing him was Jesus. He didn't know him. But he had been there in that particular spot for 38 years. Long before Christ was born, the man was there. So throughout Christ's ministry, the man didn't know anything about Christ because he was there at the pool. He was there at the pool, suffering. And so now, my brothers and sisters, I am bringing you face to face with Jesus Christ who can make a difference in your life. Jesus can make a difference in your life. John chapter 5, verse 14. John chapter 5, verse 14 says, Now you are well, so stop sinning, or something even worse may happen to you. The great physician is here. The sympathizing Jesus is here. He healed a man who had been sick for 38 years. He raised Lazarus from the dead. He caused the blind to see. He can heal you. He can take care of your need. He will meet you at your point of need. John chapter 5 verse 15. John chapter 5 verse 15 says, that the man went and told the Jewish leaders that it was Jesus who had healed him. The man will not be shut down. So he inquired, and now he knew clearly who had healed him. So he went back to the Jewish leaders and told them, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus had healed him. Sweet name, dear name, there is no other name so sweet as the name of Jesus. To me, he is everything. Sweet name, dear name. My friends, trust in the Lord. Have faith in Jesus and you will take care of your needs. He took care of this man who had been sick for 38 years. He will take care of you. He took care of Lazarus, who, was, who had been four days being buried. He brought him back to life. He took care of a blind man, and he healed him. What it is in your life that Jesus cannot help you. He will take care of you. He will meet you right now at your point of need. Invite him to your heart. Invite him to your heart. Humble yourself and let Jesus take over. He can make a difference. He can bring joy happiness, faith, and uh, peace in your life. Today, to me, all to Jesus, I surrender. All to him, I owe. Will you also surrender to Jesus and see the difference in your life? Will you also do so right now by surrendering to Jesus and see the difference in your life. He made a difference in the man who was paralyzed for 38 years. And you make a difference in your life. Will you do so now? Will you invite Christ in your heart right now? Will you accept him right now? Thank you, dear Jesus, for your love, for your compassion, and for your willingness to meet us at our point of need, 
Thank you so much for what you have done and what you are planning to do for us. Bless all those who are watching this message. Give them courage to stand up for Jesus. Give them courage to testify about Jesus. Give them courage to accept Jesus as their personal Savior. Bless them. Bless their homes. Bless their marriages. Bless their work. Bless their finances. And grant them peace. Peace in their hearts. Peace in their homes. And peace all around, around them. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen.